Hey guys and welcome to this update for the uh, inventory and pickup system uh, and this update as you can see here I added gamepad support um, as well as listening for the gamepad keys for example if you press like a key in your controller you can uh, uh, listen to that I don't know obviously you can do it yourself if you want but if you need the inventory to handle that it is available also added um, drag highlights for valid and invalid so let's go ahead and close here and if i pick some items here so as you can see here we have a pistol and this is the uh, the drag and this is the invalid drag so basically uh the pistol cannot go in this slot as we saw on the first video uh you could sit pretty much what the container uh, what items the container supports um, so these slots right here are uh, do not support the pistol and as you can see we uh, have the invalid drag but since we can add it here the drag is blue uh, these colors you can set them up in the container and we'll see that in a moment um, as for the uh, gamepad support so you can set focus on each container so for example here I have if I press C you can see now that the main container is focused. Now I don't have a controller, um, but you can set pretty much any key to move the uh, to move to other items. So here I have the uh, left and right and up down keys, so I can move to whatever key here, and the inventory auto scrolls pretty much. So you don't have to use a mouse and keyboard. You can use a, a gamepad if you want. So a lot of people uh, ask for this uh, feature, uh, gamepad support. So here it is. So you can go left and right and up and down and uh, the inventory will um, follow your movement or auto scroll based on where you are. Uh, and for the listen keys, you can add um, as many keys as you want and the inventory will listen for those keys and you can handle the event to decide what to do um, when that key is pressed. So here I have the X key. Now, once again, I don't have a controller. Otherwise, I would have used a controller key or gamepad key. Um, so if I press X, as you can see, it says gamepad listen key was just pressed. X, so is the key and the current item. Because it's an, uh, it's an empty um, slot, nothing was printed. But if I go here, for example, to the pistol and press X, as you can see, purple pistol uh, is printed here. Um, so basically you can like go to an item here press X and then Based on that key you can decide what to do like either drop the item or split it or whatever you want um, So let's go ahead and, and show you how you can um, Use the uh, gamepad support. So this is the um, first example So if you haven't done already, I encourage you to use the latest update because it has all the new features and also this example right here, example three, uh, where you can use pretty much any slot. Uh, any weapon can go to any slot, so you can have like four rifles if you want. Um, so example, uh, we can go to widgets here. Um, we're using the, um, actually we're using the system here. So you can go to system, uh, widget, and then inventory. So this is the default inventory. Um, if you select the main uh, or the container, so any container pretty much, uh, here you have the interaction type, so either keyboard and mouse or gamepad. Um, so currently it doesn't do, so currently it doesn't prevent you from using gamepad. Even if you have it like keyboard and mouse, you can still use a gamepad by just sitting focus, and I'll show you that later. But for now, um, the other change is now instead of like having a maximum slot, now you have numbers of rows and columns. So you can say I want five columns and 10 rows basically and it will just build that for you um uh, the supported item types now this is uh once again i explained this already in the first video but this also controls the drag um uh, basically when you drag an item to another container it will check if it's a supported item type and then it will decide whether it's a valid drag or not um so uh, here you have another section called highlight. So here you can customize the colors um, for the on hover. When you hover over an item, you can uh, select what uh, what color you want to show. And these are the drag, basically um, drag it over a, a valid area or container 
uh, or not. So you can choose to either uh, highlight when whatever you drag or and also highlight the invalid items. Um, and here you can control the colors and, the, and this is the gamepad input section. Um, so here, because I don't have a controller, like I said, I just use the keyboard keys, but you can set the gamepad uh, keys here and that will work just fine. So you can use your gamepad keys here to control uh, or to navigate in the inventory and it should work just fine. Now these are the gamepad listen keys. Now we have an event that whenever you press a key will trigger, of course, if the key is here. So I used here, I used X here. So when I press X, uh, while I have focus, of course, you need to have focus. I'll show you that later in the character. Um, so once you set focus on a container, um, then the container will start listening to these keys. And whenever you press a key, then you will have the event triggered and you can handle uh, that event and decide what to do uh, based on that key. Now, obviously you can add as many keys as you want. Typically you would want to add gamepad keys here. Um, and of course like trigger, shoulder, and, and then this, and once you uh, press that key, the event will trigger. Um, for now, I don't have a, a gamepad, so I'm just gonna use the X key here. Um, so that's pretty much it for the settings here. And uh, now what you need to do to first sit focus. So you need to sit focus for a container because you can't like focus two containers for the gamepad. So you can be in the main container, then you wanna jump to another container like your primary, then you, you disable focus for this one and then you focus this one and it should uh, then uh, focus that container. Um, so if I go to the character, uh, basically we have the main container. So the name of this one is items container main. So uh, here I use the C or the key C. So you could for example, just do it in the begin play if you want it by default. So you get the inventory widget and you access the whatever container you want. So in our case here is the main container and then we call sit gamepad focus uh, and we set true here. So now when we uh, open the inventory, if I press C, now I have the main um, container with gamepad uh, focus. So now I can use the keys that I have in the settings to navigate the inventory or the container. And of course, this also triggers the listen keys. Now, because I have X added, I can press X and it will tell me what um, that the key was pressed and what item I pressed. Now, of course, that is an event that you need to, to handle. And here's the event right here. So in the uh, this event right here, I call it in the begin play. So you, uh, you wanna call, for example, an event so you can handle um, whatever uh, inventory event you want. But basically, you want to get the container. You want to look for bind on listen um, gamepad key press. So you can look, just look for bind and then you'll have it here on listen gamepad, gamepad key. So you add the event right here. Uh, of course, you need to uh, hook it to like, you, you can call this in the begin play or whatever, whatever place you want. Uh, you have the event right here, you drag a ping, you go to add events and then add custom event. And you can like name this whatever you want. And then here you will have the key and the highlighted item. Now from the highlight item, that's basically the, the slot or the item that we're currently um, focusing. So you can like just get a ping from it and look for get info. And that will get you the information about that, um, about that um, item. Uh, so we saw that in the first video. Um, the item will be, uh, you can uh, set those items in your data table. So here's the event is used here. So whenever you press a key, you will get whatever key that is. So uh, in this case, I just shown the, um, the name of the key. And then the, uh, from the currently highlighted item, I just get the pickup info and I just got the name. So this is just an example. You can obviously um, go more in depth on what to do with that item. You, you can, for example, call clear slot or update count or, or something like that um, when that key was pressed. So that's pretty much it for this update. Um, you can also, if you haven't, check the uh, third example right here. Um, this is a 
replicated example so it, it should work for multiplayer so this is basically an example where you can use all your slots uh, you can equip anything to your all to, to all your slots basically you can have like three rifles or four rifles if you want and you can like switch between them and all that stuff so that was also requested so there you go so feel free to contact me uh, uh, via my email if you need help or have any suggestions you can also just leave a comment below um so yeah that's that's pretty much it and uh, hopefully this update is useful for you and uh, i'll see you later goodbye